Hey, what's up you guys? It's Valley Vaughn back at you with another fragrance video. Thank you subscribers. Thanks for joining my perfume mafia. And if you aren't subscribed, but you're watching this video and you really love fragrance content, then I really encourage you to go ahead and join my perfume mafia because in the community tab, that's the only way you're going to be able to see the different deals and coupons that I post. Whenever I see a really good bargain, I like to let you guys know. So that's the only way you're going to know. Also hit me up on Instagram. It's Valley Vaughn the perfume down on there. If you have any questions if you have any questions any insights if you just want to chat about fragrance i love chatting with you all a lot of you had already been doing it and i would love to continue to do so so let's get into this video so today i am so happy to share that as you saw in a previous haul fragrance net sent me two fragrances that i'm very excited to share with you guys i've been wearing them testing them to make sure that i really like them i really enjoy them these are blind buys for myself but I've heard really good things about the brand. I'm here to give you guys the deets, the details, the ins and outs about these fragrances so you can decide if it's worth it for you. Right now, a lot of places are still closed, but a lot of places are opening up right now. But I know for sure, well, the fragrance that I'm going to talk about in this particular video, I don't see it in a lot of places as far as different uh, stores like a Macy's or a JCPenney. So for that reason, it still may be a blind buy for you even though the stores are opening up. So I wanna make sure that I communicate to you guys how it smells so you can be aware. So let's get into this video. Fragrance I'm going to be talking about today is going to be from Montel. It is world renowned in the fragrance community. It's a niche perfume brand. All they do is fragrance and they do it well. They're known for their performance. They're known for their very well liked, still crowd pleasing. They're not on the end of niche where they're like zoologist perfumes to where it's like extremely only specific people really like them. A lot of the fragrances that Montel do, a lot of people will really really like them they are crowd pleasers they smell great and they have really great performance and the one that i selected to try out which is roses musk is no different it's no different from the bunch so this is from montel paris again this is roses musk and this is the eau de parfum i got the 50 ml 1.7 fluid ounce and this is the bottle that it comes in. Again, it's from FragranceNet. The thing about FragranceNet that I really want to reiterate to you guys, because a lot of you guys ask me, where do I shop to make sure that I'm getting authentic products? And I actually have a video coming of, oh, that's my bread. It smells like it's burning. I hope it's not. But I have a video coming for you guys of how to spot a fake. So that'll really help you as you're shopping online for different fragrances because a lot of people do sell fakes however fragrance net is a place where you can always know that you're going to get legitimate products i've bought killian from them a lot of designer brands from them um, i know my friend just did a huge haul um, if she has the if she has her perfume collection listed by the time this goes up i'll let you guys see that she bought all of everything from fragrance net great deals insane deals it's all authentic though and that's what you want at the end of the day that, that peace of mind knowing that everything's going to be real that you're spending real money and getting a real product so again what i got is from montel this is rose's musk 1.7 fluid ounce comes in this box and even though the um even though this COVID 19 thing has been going on they've actually been like really fast with shipping like i had no problems when i purchased some things on my own even though these were sent to me i have no problem when i purchase things on my own my friend had no problem it came about a week span which is typical for online shipping so no complaints there i haven't had any problems um and a lot of people in the comment section you can write down below which has been your experience with fragrance that i'm sure it's going to be all positive but i would love to hear your experience with them so this is how it comes in this bottle. It, I believe that Montel is a sister brand to Mancera. So they all come with these dust bags, which are so cute. Great for traveling as well, because you don't want your actual bottle to be damaged or be leaking. So it comes with this drawstring bag. It's like almost like a satin, black satin. Has the monograms all over it and then a pink drawstring. And then you open it up. Oh, and then it has the tag on the side, Montel Paris open up the bag and that's where you find your juice and there it is the 1.7 fluid ounce it does look a lot smaller than i thought a 1.7 would look however 
I'm not saying that it's not a 1.7, it just does look a, a little bit smaller, probably because the packaging isn't so bulbous or isn't so large, you know? Um, but the way that the nozzle is secured so that it's not like sprained, even though it's in the dust bag, it won't be sprained, is that it has this clip that comes with the Montal charm that you put in there to prevent it from actual spraying when you're not using it. So you just take that off and then let's get into the actual juice. Now for the atomizer, very, very nice. It sprays like a freaking cloud and I'll show you. That was just a little bit. You really only need a little bit, but let me do a little bit more. There you can see, very direct, very precise. So if you're like trying to aim a particular area, it's definitely gonna go there, but it disperses so nicely to where it's gonna coat and it becomes like a direct cloud. So very, very nice and it smells so good. Let's get into this scent. So this is the fragrance. If you guys, again, if you follow me on social media, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a video I posted a video a few days ago about me being at a fast food restaurant in the drive-through and when I let down the when I let down the window to give them my payment card and they gave me my food, she says, "Oh my god, that smells so nice." And I'm like, "What? The chicken?" cuz I was at Popeyes. She's like, "No, your perfume it smells great." And I was like, "Oh my god, cuz at that point I'd had it on for a few hours, so I couldn't smell it anymore myself, but apparently it was still very strong and very potent." for the woman that's you know we're keeping our distance everyone right now so and we're in the drive through it's not like i'm really close to the woman you know i'm in my car she's in the restaurant so it had to be pretty strong for her to be able to smell that scent and it was a pleasant scent and i was wearing montel paris roses and musk right off the bat this smells like a jammy rose scent with a little bit like pepper there's something that's just this much spice that adds a little bit of depth to where it smells like very womanly very sexy very mature but it definitely keeps the integrity of a true rose scent and if you've been following me for around a while on here you know that i absolutely love rose note fragrances i'm a huge proponent for them i have so many and i hope to have so many more because they just all smell so freaking amazing and i actually need to do an updated rose fragrance video because since i made that video i've actually acquired so many more but let's get into the actual notes that are in this fragrance the only notes that it lists is that it says it has rose of course and it says that it has musk of course which i'm guessing that's for the base to help with longevity but in the heart notes it says that it has jasmine those are the only notes that it lists in this fragrance from what i saw if you guys know any more about this fragrance be sure to drop it below because i would love to know the exact notes but for me what i smell it smells almost like a white peppery type scent definitely smells some musk and it's kind of like clouded musk it's like a really thick musk to me and it just really holds on to the really deep mature rose scent it's almost like a rose bud with the deep rose scent also together like i feel like there's two different rose scents in here but it's beautiful it's definitely a rose bouquet it really makes you think of when someone that really loves you brings you that huge rose bouquet that's what it makes you think of it's a it's a beautiful scent it's a really nice scent now the prices that they're going for a fragrance net right now is going to be a travel atomizer which you can get for about 20 bucks if i'm wrong i'll list it right here you can also get the 1.7 fluid ounce which is the size i have now for about 80 bucks i think it's 88 bucks or something like that but on the website they say that's the best choice i don't know if you're a huge thing for packaging and then maybe it's the best choice for you. I think the best selection, especially if, if you really like rose scents, if you love floral scents, I would just go ahead and get the full size tester. And that's again, because the, the tester, it's not gonna have all of the like the packaging, it's probably gonna come in a plain box and it's probably not gonna have like this little clip thing or anything like that because it is a tester. But the tester is about $99, $100 for a 3.4 fluid ounce, which is double this size. So I would almost say that that's the best deal. However, another thing to keep, to keep in account, another thing to keep in mind is the fact that this is so powerful. 
to where you really don't need to use that much. So if you did want to go on the smaller route, if you want to do a spray atomizer, or if you just want to do like the travel size, or if you just want to do 1.7 fluid ounce, that's not a problem because you really don't need much with this fragrance. For performance, as I already told you guys, it has huge performance, it has huge sillage. I literally can spray this in the morning and smell it all day long. Like it's so strong, but not in an overpowering type sense. It really gets with your body chemistry, meshes with your body chemistry, and really complements it. It smells so lovely. This is the type of scent to where I will wear all seasons. I would totally wear this as a very nice crisp rose scent in the winter time. I think it has enough strong performance to where it would be able to pierce through cold settings and cold temperatures. And it's also so nice to where it's not too strong to where it's gonna become very uh, clawing or anything and really hot heat. So I think this is a great, very nice versatile scent. And I have a code for you guys. If you do decide to go ahead and purchase this from FragranceNet, I have an extra 30% off and you can you guys can use that code. It's going to be listed right here. And then also even more details and the links are gonna be listed below. So please go check out this fragrance. If that sounds like something you might like and you might wanna to add to your collection, check it out. It's a really, really good one. And I catch you guys in the next video. Peace.